Thought you were gonna shed a tear on that one, man. Not about the past, man. It's all about the future. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to a very special Costco episode of Fung Bros Food. In this video, we are going to be reviewing Costco's new and improved 2018 food court menu. Who would have thought that the Costco food court would go through a refresh? All you guys know that Costco has a legendary food court, but you know if they have new items, we're gonna definitely check them out. Most notably, they brought on a burger, they brought on a chili, they brought on a turkey provolone sandwich, and they brought on an acai bowl. The new Costco food court. Let's, Let's go. go. All right, everybody, thank you so much for clicking on that video, but real quick, we gotta tell you about this new Bape and PUBG Mobile collaboration that is happening for a limited time only. You can download the game at this link down below in the description. PUBG Mobile is probably one of the first games that I've ever played on my phone. PUBG Mobile is lit. Over. PUBG Mobile is dope. It is Bape's 25th anniversary, yeah. so they collaborated with PUBG Mobile to make sure the limited edition Bape gear gets in the game. You can buy or earn Bape crates, and you can dress up your character in the hottest babe gear right now. So this is my character, Juntao back. It kind of looks like Juntao. Boom, throw on a shark Woo. hoodie. Boom, throw on some Mixed babe shorts. camo shorts. Boom, throw on the babe stairs. And here we got the graffiti M4, okay? You got the babe frying pan. If you're dressing like a hype beast in PUBG Mobile, you might be a target, okay? It's targeted the haters, though. I mean, just even look at the graphics, man. The game Dude, to, to be playing this off of your phone is crazy. Knocked him out with the pistola. Oh. Boom, boom, he's out, he's out, he don't want it, he's done. Cover me, cuff, uh, <laughs> oh, we both died. They right. saw how fresh we were, and hey, we're talk about fresh to death. All right, we'll leave a link in the description below, make sure you click on it so you can download PUBG Mobile and you can start playing in your bait gear, but it's only for a limited time only. This bait PUBG Mobile thing has been the perfect thing for somebody like us, where we love streetwear. We do love first person shooters too. Check out our gamer tags. Mine is Your Mom's Recipe. David's is Juntao Back. Add us on PUBG Mobile. PUBG Mobile, it's a free app. Everybody can play it. It's right on your phone. Definitely get the crates. You can earn the coins to get the babe crates, or you can just buy the babe crates, dress up in babe gear, and add our gamer tags. Squad up with the new babe gear PUBG Mobile collabo. All right, watch the rest of this video. Peace. $5 organic Costco cheeseburger. This is not just any regular cheeseburger, this is a double stack. Double stack. You know what it caught me off guard? Is that it's $4.99. By Costco standards, that's expensive. That's but the reason why they're charging $4.99 for this burger is because of the premium ingredients. It's made with organic ingredients. I mean, look how hefty this patty is. This is heavy, bro. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> it's got sauce, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes. I heard that this burger is supposed to be inspired by Shake Shack. I noticed that the tomatoes and the onions are diced. Right. I taste a lot of the sauce on the bite. Kind of tastes like a really good barbecue burger, yeah. but with less grill marks on the meat. The meat does not have a very smoky, charred flavor. Costco is actually from the Seattle area. If you guys know about Seattle Public School Lunch, there is a burger with a steamed patty that tastes actually pretty similar to this. If it tastes like an elevated Seattle Public School Lunch and Costco's from Seattle. <laughs> In terms of taste, I'd probably give it a solid three, but for $4.99, I'd probably give it like a 2.5. Considering that this is the first burger that Costco has ever made, I'm gonna give this a four out of five. I was gonna go with like a 3.25 because it not only tastes like a Seattle public school lunch, but like a Dick's Burger. So I would say that bumps it up to a 3.5. Next up, we have the 3.99. Costco chili. You know we about the Wendy's chili. I'm not the biggest fan of chili to be honest with you, but I'm just looking at how much beef is in that. It looks yeah. pretty good. Yo, I think you should dress it up with some of the cheese that was provided. Mm. Let me dunk on a lot of cheese on this one. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, just ask for extra cheese and they'll just give it to you. You can also ask for sauerkraut. I bet you could load this up with, at the onion station as well. With the condiment station, you can hook up anything. It tastes a lot like chili out of the can than Wendy's does. It tastes very tangy like. And no, you're not a big chili eater. Okay? If I had to compare it to a chili, it's a little bit more ketchupy chili than I would expect. Comparing it to Wendy's, Wendy's is more like a stew. It's a little bit more right. soupy, a little bit more watery. Right, right, right. I would say this definitely tastes more like it's mixed in with a lot more tomato sauce. While we're on the topic of the chili, here's a couple kind of hacks or mixes that you can do. $3.99 Costco chili going on the $4.99 Costco burger. Yo, that's hey. an expensive chili cheeseburger right there. <laughs> wow. 
Something else that I'm putting chili cheese on is gonna be the hot dog. As you guys know, if you have not heard, they have taken away the Polish sausage. Man, that's R.I.P. I'm, I'm gonna try the chili cheese dog just because I gotta try this. So this is the classic $1.50 hot dog drink combo. Tell me that is not your traditional chili cheese dog. You know what is missing though? Some onions, man. I, I got sauerkraut though. Sauerkraut. Hey. Okay, it's pretty good. Gives me that chili cheese flavor. I like it. I like it. You put the chili cheese and extra cheese on top of your 150 hot dog. And let me tell you this, it's, it's a whole new experience, man. I'm gonna take another bite. I give the chili cheese overall, just because of the flexibility, 3.5 out of 5. I will give it a 3.25 out of 5. A 3 out of 5. Okay, no, but I think this next item is gonna be something that you like. Coming in at the $3.99 price point, the turkey pesto provolone sandwich. You know, for the more fancy taste. This might be, in a way, the most unique flavor that we have here. Did you guys notice that the cheese is like hardened and grilled on the sides? Quiznos does that. Let's break down this bread. I think this is a ciabatta roll. Yeah. That's gonna be no, a good piece. That. You see that cheese chip right there? That's gonna be tasty. Yo, I mm. Dude, you see the pesto? Let me just examine real quick. You see the pesto sauce? Guys, those are not those are not raw onions. Those are grilled those onions. Those are grilled onions. Mmm, so good. So you have pesto sauce, you have Parmesan cheese, you have actually grilled and toasted tomatoes in there, and then you have the toasted turkey. If you can see on the edges right here, the turkey is shriveled up because it's been baked. $3.99. The turkey pesto provolone at Costco worthy. It's worth $3.99. I have to qualify that by saying I'm just not a huge turkey pesto guy. How's your cheese chip, now? Wow. Mm. Nelson, I've had this before and I do enjoy it. Very mm. juicy. $3.99, I think Which, it's good, man. This is actually a pretty filling sandwich. Of the items that we've had so far, this feels the most high quality. Four out of five, man. Woo. Four out of five. I would concur. 4.25 out of five because this is a must try. Right it almost doesn't taste like it came from the Costco food court. No, I mean, no. I switch it up. 4.5 out of five for the grilled onions. They cook the onions for you. We have covered the newest hot items on the Costco food court menu. In my hand, I have a $4.99 acai bowl. Acai bowls blowing up for the past decade. It's a superfood. All right, so here we do have fresh strawberries and fresh blueberries and granola with some banana chips in it. Let me just break down this bowl real quick. It doesn't really taste like an acai bowl. Oh. It tastes more like a kind of some type of berry sorbet with granola and fruit on it. So it has a lot of things that you like, especially if you're into healthy foods, but it does not taste like an acai bowl. I give it a three out of five. If this is your introduction to acai bowls, this is a good doorway into it. For me, I have a cold brew mocha freeze. It's a little melted, but this was at one point. Yeah. It was a freeze. It was so a freeze. The Next cold level. brew being the updated thing. And then also those are made of Colombian coffee beans. This hit me like a cold brew. This was surprisingly strong. I can co-sign this cold brew mocha freeze. Immediately, I give this 4.5 out of 5. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. In my hands, I have the acai swirl. So what this is, is half acai bowl and half frozen yogurt. It's more on the healthier side. I'm down to try it. Uh, I like frozen yogurt. Potentially, if you like any acai bowl, it's going to be this one. It tastes too healthy. I just give it a 2.5 out of 5 based off the ice cream. The ice cream tastes good. I might just eat the ice cream by itself. Okay, that pretty much covers all the new items on the 2018 Costco Food Court menu. Let's finish off the video with the classics. I don't know why we're always eating pizza together. Now, what are you picking? I'm gonna go with what I get growing up. Combo. The combo. Right. <laughs> combo. You're gonna hit him with the combo. Gonna... I prefer pep over, you know, regular. So. I will get the classic cheese. And it's funny because the last time we ate pizza was in New York City, the oh, mecca of man. pizza. And now we are eating Costco pizza. $1.99 a slice, guys. Let's do it. In the last few years, you're right. I've tried a lot more pizza. I think pizza around the world and around America has tiered up. Costco pizza has probably and rightfully dropped in my ranking. For sure. It's too doughy. The cheese doesn't have a lot of flavor. The sauce doesn't have a lot of flavor. To me, I used to rank Costco pizza four out of five. I think it has since dropped at best a three out of five. After eating a lot of really great cheap pizza in New York, it's really hard to enjoy Costco pizza at the same level. I remember a few years ago, Andrew, one of our production guys told us, shout out to Jay Poon. He goes, listen, if you provide lunch for your production guys, they said pizza's okay, but not Costco pizza. <sighs> at that time, with my pizza sophistication, I kind of went, yeah? Costco pizza's pretty good, are you serious? <laughs> remember when Usher's Yeah came out in the club? Like, that was like the song. You hear that now, you're like, yo, what party am I at right now? <laughs>
Last but not least, just a couple of favorites that people enjoy, the cinnamon churro. Also, we have the berry freeze. This was vanilla frozen yogurt, but now it is just vanilla yogurt. This is actually something that I do think has aged gracefully, the chicken bake. A lot of the time, when you're 13 years old, a lot of things are the greatest things that you've eaten. So since then, I've realized that this is just really, really salty. I can't eat the chicken bake anymore. I like to have it once in a while. You know what I will say is genius about this though? All of these ingredients are found between the salad or pizza. I will eat it. Go for it, I'm guys. Going into I'm, I'm, it. I'll have a churro. Mm. I don't know if these are quite the Disneyland churros, but if you guys notice, they do have the cinnamon on the inside. You know, chicken bake's not that bad. One for one dollar, these churros gotta be a five out of five. What? Wow. Dip it in the Sunday. Dip the churro in the Sunday. Mm. Okay, I can, I can see why you're giving it a five out of five. But for a dollar, I give it four out of five. After all these years, sugar and cinnamon has not failed and has not gone out of style. Mm. Costco is trying to move in a new direction with its food court. Right. It's trying to move in a more millennial, a little bit more upscale, as you saw, more premium ingredients. Right. I remember they used to use these kosher hot dogs that were super good. The Hebrew, the yeah. Hebrew nationals. Enough of that, eyes to the future. I thought you were gonna shed a tear on that one, man. Not about the past, man, it's all about the future. So here's a couple recommendations to Costco. Don't serve this much chili. The pizza, I thought they gotta you know, change it up a little bit. Why not a white sauce pizza using some sort of the chicken Caesar? Throw them a clam chowder, man. Okay, I would like to see, and you know, I'm a big fan of green juice. I think the cheeseburger is just too hefty. Instead of maybe a double patty, make it just one patty. So you are telling Costco, the place where you can buy like three gallons of milk in one bottle. You're telling them to cut it back. Did I stutter? In the comment section below, make sure you let us know what you think of the new 2018 Costco food court items. And number two, make sure you let us know a new item you think Costco could realistically add to the food court. All right, everybody, thank you for watching that comprehensive review of Costco's food court in 2018. Shout out to Nelson from Hoopin' Life. Definitely check out his channel down below. This is the Fung Bros. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. Hold up, man. We gotta fuse it with the new school. Oh my goodness. No, that, I don't think that's a good idea, care. man. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Oh, 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 the oh. chili cheese cheese pizza.